coming up on Kylie Makes It. I think it looks so amazing. Do you like it? Oh, <laughs> you can't see it. I covered it up for a big reveal. Are you ready? Okay. Ready? Ready? and Dax. And we are opening up something so cool today. Dax, what are we going to open up? What's that called? The Maker Box! Maker Box! All right. What's in there? What is it? Oh, show our friends! Dax, what are these? What are these called? What are these called? What are they? What are they? They're cookies, they're beautiful. I know, look how beautiful they are. Don't you wish we could eat them and keep them forever? Yeah, eat them. And keep them, right? Have you ever heard of a gingerbread house, Dax? Mm -hmm. Have you, friend? You have? When I was little, we used to try to make gingerbread houses every year out of candy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I always wanted to eat it up instead. <laughs> I have an amazing idea. What if, while we eat these cookies, Mama makes an amazing gingerbread house? Friend, do you want to help me make a pretend gingerbread house that we don't eat, but we get to play with all year long if we want to? To the studio! Welcome to the studio. The first part of building our gingerbread house is to imagine what we want it to look like. I'm just going to brainstorm, which means draw out a few ideas of different designs that I like. There's a job called being an architect where you are the one who designs houses, real houses that people live in, houses and buildings and bridges even. Let's start dreaming. I think I would like my gingerbread house to have a pointed roof. I wonder if we should have another floor on our house, like an upstairs. That will be our art studio. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we'll put some windows on the sides and stuff too. I think I also want some special decorations on the house, but we'll get to that part later. The first thing we need to do is make some plans to actually build the house. I'm going to get out a ruler and start drawing very precise plans. This isn't just an idea now. These are plans that have measurements on them that will show me how big I actually need to make the pieces of my gingerbread house. Be right back. I'll get my ruler. Have you ever used a ruler before? Rulers help you get very exact measurements. This ruler has inches and centimeters on it. They also help you draw very straight lines so that you can get very exact drawings. I think I figured out the measurements for every single part of the gingerbread house I'm going to make. My next step is to cut out each piece of my gingerbread house out of cardstock. This will be a template that I can use when I cut the different pieces of my gingerbread salt dough. If you want to try making the same gingerbread house I'm making today, you can go online to kyliemakesit.com backslash parents and that's where you can find a copy of the exact same templates that I'm going to use here today. 
Using the measurements from my drawing, I created these template pieces for all of the gingerbread salt dough that we're going to need to cut to make our amazing gingerbread salt dough house. So excited. Remember, the gingerbread house that we're making today, you cannot eat. This one is to keep. It will stay for a long time, like a long time. But that also means that we're not going to eat any part of it. It's not good for us to eat this stuff and it would taste nasty. So we're going to make something that's going to look like cookie dough, but it's not. It's called salt dough. And when you bake it in the oven, it gets really hard like rocks. It's gonna be great to build our gingerbread house. Here's the recipe for the salt dough. I need to make a lot of this for my house, but I'll show you just the basic recipe and then you can make whatever you want with it. If you're gonna make a big house, you might need to make a little bit more. Just double or triple the recipe. I'm gonna start with two cups of flour. Then I'm gonna add one cup of salt. Next is the part that smells so good and is going to give us that really great gingerbread color, cinnamon. We're going to use a half a cup of cinnamon. Now stir up all the ingredients while they're dry so that the color gets all mixed. Now that it's all pretty mixed up, we're gonna add in some water. I'm gonna start with one cup of water. Now I'm gonna stir it up. Once it's combined a little bit, you can get in there and use your hands to knead the dough together. Ooh, it feels gooey. Kinda nice though. You want your dough to end up looking like this. You don't want any extra water in there, so get it just until it'll stick together. If it's too sticky, add a little bit more flour. If it's too dry, add just a little bit of water at a time until it sticks together. I like this part. <laughs> Now, just like when you're making Christmas cookies or real gingerbread, we're gonna roll it out on our table. To prevent it from sticking to the table, we're gonna add just a little bit of flour. Perfect. Now, you need a rolling pin. I'm gonna roll this out to a little under a quarter inch. I don't want it to be too thick because this is already going to have to bake a long time. The next step is to take the pieces that we need for our gingerbread house and cut them out of the dough. Pick your pieces up with a spatula or very carefully and then put them on a baking sheet that has parchment paper on it. Put that in the oven at 200 degrees, which is pretty low. If you go higher than that, they're gonna get puffy, so keep it at 200. And then they need to bake for three to four hours. I know that's a really long time, but your house is gonna smell so good. Every hour, take it out of the oven and flip it over. After three or four hours, you wanna make sure that they're hard in the middle. I'll see you again when all of my pieces are ready to go. This is my last sheet of gingerbread salt dough. All of these pieces baked in the oven for three hours. Three hours! I flipped them over every hour and they smell so good. So does my whole house. <sighs> they wouldn't taste very good because reminder, we're not eating any of this. It's not to eat, it's to keep but they smell delicious. I let these bake for three hours and then I let them cool off. And now I'm so excited because it's time to put our gingerbread salt dough house together. <laughs> I have been waiting for this for so long. 
I took my patterns and put them on top of each pile of pieces so that I can keep everything straight. I also have my model so I can show you which piece goes where. We're gonna start on the bottom and work our way up. So we need to find our lower level front and back pieces and our lower sides. We'll start there. Now, I let my salt dough sit out a little bit before I put it in the oven and something really interesting happened. One side is dark brown and one side is a little whiter. It's kind of cool. So I get to decide if I want the white side to be out or the dark brown side to be out. I think for the bottom level of my house, I'm gonna have the dark brown side be out. I'm gonna use hot glue to put this together. And then we're going to use something else that will look like frosting. But hot glue is what's actually going to be really strong and hold our structure together. This is kind of like the nails or screws of a house. The wall is going to connect right on this edge, so I'm going to put my glue all along the edge. Now, I'm going to take my wall and attach it. Because these pieces are pretty heavy, I am going to run a strip of hot glue down each side just to support the connection. Awesome! All right, let's do the next side. Now it's time to put on the back wall of my house. And that's how we do it. Piece by piece, we just glue it together. Let's keep going. love our gingerbread salt dough house. Wow. It's just like I imagined it. Don't worry when you're putting yours together if it's not perfect. Mine sure isn't, look. There's some gaps and some things that don't quite fit exactly right. There's hot glue strings all over it, but you know what? Sometimes when we're trying so hard to make something so perfect, it isn't even any fun to make. And this gingerbread salt dough house is for you. It's for you and your family. You get to share it with them. And so the most important thing isn't how perfect this is. The most important thing is that it is fun and a good memory for you and your family. Also, don't worry how it looks right now. The next steps are what's really going to make this gingerbread salt dough pop. The next step is to put some frosting on it. I'll go get what we're gonna use. Be right back. It's time to frost our house. I'm going to be using white latex sealant. You can buy it in tubes like this or in tubes like this. Ready? Amazing. Do you like it? Oh, <laughs> you can't see it. I covered it up for a big reveal. Are you ready? Okay. Ready? Ready? <gasps> Isn't it awesome? The best news is, it's not even finished yet. 
We haven't even put any candy on it. And that is one of the most fun parts of making a gingerbread house. <laughs> I can't wait to show you how we're going to make the pretend candy for this pretend gingerbread house. Before we do that, I need you to look me right in the eyes. Are you looking at me? Okay. The candy we're about to make looks really real, but it's not. We're going to make it out of polymer clay. So before I show you how to do it and before we get started, you need to look in my eyes and promise me that if you're making this at home, you're gonna make it with a grown up and you can't put anything in your mouth. Deal? Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited to show you. I'm gonna grab my polymer clay and let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is make some candy canes. So I'm gonna take a block of white and a block of red. I'm just kneading it so it's pretty soft. And then I'm going to roll it into a coil. Now I'm gonna roll out my white. Perfect. Now I'm gonna roll these together gently. This is my favorite part, the twisting. Ready? Cool. I'm gonna cut this strip so that all my candy canes are about the same size. You're just going to take your little candy cane strip and bend over the top. Awesome. Now I'm gonna show you how to make a round peppermint. Take a ball of white put it down and flatten it into a circle. Then you can just take little balls of red clay and put it along the outside. And now I'm gonna fill in the gaps with white. So it goes red, white, red, white, red, white, red, white. Then I'm just gonna squish them in toward each other and then give it a really gentle roll. Smush, mush, mush. And a peppermint. Let's try to make a lollipop. All you really need to make a lollipop is a quail. And start wrapping it in a circle like this. And then you have the candy part of your lollipop. You can use a toothpick for the stick of your lollipop. I'm cutting the soft part off of Q-tips. Stick that in there. And there you go. Now I'm gonna show you how to make a chocolate chip or a Hershey kiss. I have my coil and I'm gonna cut it about this big. Now that I have my sections, take one, roll it into a ball. Put it flat on your table and press the sides down. Pick up your Hershey Kiss or your chocolate chip and squeeze the very, very top into a point. Do you see it? Then all you're gonna do is take that top and bend it over, just like that. A perfect chocolate chip. Want to make a gumdrop? Okay, to make a gumdrop look like a real gumdrop, we need a couple extra things besides our Sculpey clay. We need liquid bakeable clay. This is a polymer clay that bakes just like this, except that it comes in a liquid form. It kind of looks like glue. You need some white craft sand. This will end up looking like the sugar on the outside of your gumdrop. A paintbrush and a plate or something to put your sand in. I'm gonna make my first gumdrop orange. Roll it into a ball, put it on your table, and then shape it into a gumdrop shape, which is kind of like a bell. We're gonna take our liquid Sculpey, which I just poured a little bit out on my plate, and cover our gumdrop with it. And roll our gumdrop in the sand. Doesn't it look exactly like a gumdrop you could eat? But we're not going to, right? 
right? <laughs> I wonder what other candies you could come up with to make yourself. If you come up with some awesome candies, I definitely want to see them. So ask a grown up if it's okay if they would post a picture of the candy that you made and tag me. Kylie makes it. I would love to see what you're making with your polymer clay and get some ideas from you too. I'm gonna sculpt a little bit more and then put all of my fake candy onto a cookie sheet and bake it in my oven. Different polymer clay bakes for different times and different temperatures, so follow the instruction on the polymer clay that you're using for how long your clay needs to bake. When all the pieces are done, I'm gonna bring them back here to the studio and we're gonna decorate our gingerbread house, which will be the final step. I can't wait to see what we make together. <sighs> I gotta get sculpting. Our pretend candy is all ready to go. I love how it looks. What candy looks the most real, do you think? Hmm. I still think the gumdrops look really real, but probably my favorite thing that we made are these lollipops. Now it's time to decorate our gingerbread house. I have another tube of sealant to add a little bit of icing if I want to, even though there's so much icing on this house already. And I'm going to attach all my candy with hot glue. Are you ready? This is the part I've been so excited for. Love it. I think it looks so amazing. What's your favorite part? <sighs> I'm gonna make it snow a little bit as a final touch. I had so much fun making this with you. It's amazing. It feels magical. I love that it's something that we can keep every year because it's not made of real food, but it kind of looks like it's made of real food. So fun. Hi friends, the gingerbread house is all done. Do you like it, Dax? Do you see a door on the gingerbread house? Hmm, what here? Is there any on the big front? Where's the front? Oh, what do you do to a door? Knock, 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 knock. who's there? <gasps> Dax, what's your favorite part? Did you pretend to eat it? Yeah. <laughs> what's your favorite part of our gingerbread house? Yeah. That little present? Yeah. What's your favorite part? Presents too. <laughs> you think their favorite part is presents too? Yeah. That's awesome. Well, I think we should finish eating up our cookies and look at our cool house. Uh, you want to eat that one? Yeah. Mm, cookies are delicious. <laughs> Can you say bye to our friends? Have a good day. We'll see you next time. Want to make more things together? Me too. K-Y-L-E-E. -E. That's me. Search Kylie Makes It for lots of fun art videos. Also, parents and educators, go to KylieMakesIt.com. I have lots of things for you too. Like this video and subscribe.